Oh, you mean he was cute. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe the four of us is a little overpopulated. Why don't uh, Rebecca and I wait outside? We'll come back a little later. That's a good idea. Sloan wanted a chance to come in. All right. And you be nice, all right? Sloan's been worried about you, too. Please come back. Oh, we will. We're really glad you're feeling better, Jeff. Yeah, you look a lot better, too. I just hated the way you looked last night. I hated it. I never thought I would want to hear your back talk so much. You guys are really worried, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Yeah, you're our best girl, Jess. Well, and Mom and Dad's, too. They were with me the whole time, you know, together. I know. It's really weird. I felt like a family again. It felt really good. Hey, listen to me, Bella Family. We are a family. We always have been and we always will be, okay? Rebecca, can we talk about this? What's to talk Please? about? Please? Well, for one thing, I know that you stopped by to see Todd in his hospital room last night. Were you ever planning on telling me about that? I didn't think it mattered. I mean, pal, he's out of our lives now. No, he isn't, Rebecca. And we better talk about that, because Todd is not out of our lives. Is he? I mean, sometimes a whole week goes by when I don't think about the rape. I don't dream about it. I don't even think about it. And then, wham, right in my face again. You think after a whole year. <laughs> Marty, we think about losing William every day of our lives. When does it go away? Maybe never. I mean, it may be, it never will. Maybe the trick is just to learn how to deal with it. Some trick. Look, you know, I don't think that there is anything odd about something like this stirring up a lot of bad memories. Yeah. Marty, these things happen and everything gets very confusing. Right. Look, you don't want to talk about it, we don't talk about it. Maybe, maybe you, you could think about t t talking to someone, though. I... I know a great guy. Dr. Michael Jonas. No, frankly, I'd rather just talk to my friends, my best friends, if you don't mind. Sure. Anytime, you know that. I mean, the guy that I hate most in the world, the guy who ruined my life, the guy that I am most afraid of. I, he risked his life to save me. And, and CJ. And Jessica definitely wouldn't have made it if he hadn't carried her up the hill and flagged down the car, and then he comes back for me. He knew the time was running out. And he knew. He, he, he wouldn't get away if he stayed with me and he helped me. Oh, and then he stayed. For me, just for me. What am I to do with that? Okay, all right, now listen to me. Right? I, don't, I don't think you need to worry about why he did it, Marty. I think it's helpful, though, to recognize that he did do it. <laughs> what, are you asking me to admit that he's human? What do you want from me? I want you to listen to me. I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. Well, I guess you don't really have much of a choice, do you? I've hated your guts for a long time, Manning. You hurt a lot of people that uh, I care an awful lot about. And you terrorized the woman that I love more than anything in this world. And I'm not going to forget that anytime soon. But last night, those two kids that you saved, that was my niece and my nephew. And that's something I'm not going to forget anytime soon either. Fine. You done? Yeah. How are you feeling? Like hell. You can tell everybody that. Make them sleep a whole lot better. That bullet almost did you in. 
Guess I'm a lucky guy, huh? You were about to surrender to me when you were shot, weren't you? What's it matter? It doesn't. I just want to know. Thanks for saving those kids. Marty, too. Hey. I got a question for you now. Go ahead. What am I looking at? Am I gonna spend the rest of my life in prison? Hey, I I'm, I'm okay. I'm no, no, you don't. You are stuck with us. We took the whole afternoon off just to take care of you. But, Kathy, you must be worried about your mother's jury coming back. I mean, yeah, you? yeah, yeah, I guess I am. But uh, Nora said that she would call me if the jury came back, and I checked the messages. There's nothing yet. But you are worried. Yeah, I guess I am. Listen, listen, Andrew, why don't I go home in case Nora calls, and so can you stay for a while? Uh. Yes, of, of course. I'll, I'll stay. Um, you call me. You call me right away if anything happens. Oh, Promise? Yes, deal. Deal. Okay. So you take good care of her. All right, I will. I am so glad that you're all right. I don't know what I would have done if... Oh. <laughs> I'll call you. Hey, thanks for everything. Oh, Easy. here. <laughs> and, um, good luck with your mom. Yes. Yeah. How do you do it? Do what? Forgive Dorian. After all the awful things she's done to the two of you. Oh, well, look. <laughs> I tell you, um, I'm never exactly sure where Cassie stands with her mother, and I'm not exactly sure that I've um, forgiven Dorian for anything. But you spend time with her. I mean, you're standing by her during this trial. Well, I mean, Marty, how can you not? Like her, not like her, she is part of our lives, I mean, even if it's a painful part. So you're saying you can't pretend that she doesn't exist? Right. I'm saying that no matter what someone has done to you, you have got to come to terms with them, even if you... even if you can't forgive them. You've got to come to terms with the person who did you wrong. Hey, Powell. <laughs> yes, I, I did go visit Todd after we had argued about him. But that has nothing to do with how I feel about you. Rebecca, we have never fought. Not once. And when Todd turns up, what happens? He's out of our lives. I keep trying to tell you that. I don't want you anywhere near Todd. Well, I, I won't be near him again, will I? What if he had hurt you? On, pal, he's not... He's guarded like Fort Knox. He isn't going to hurt me. Not now. All right. Can you just tell me why you, you had to go see him? I had to see for myself if he, if he was okay. I mean, after everything that's happened... I can understand that. To a certain point, I do. Like it or not, the, the guy's a part of my life, too. But what I don't understand is... I mean... The guy kidnapped you at gunpoint, Rebecca. He threatened to kill you. I, I know, and, and he... He tried to kill you at the spring dance, and I... I don't expect you to forgive him. Where does all this compassion come from? I, I guess I've seen things in Todd's that, Todd's that no one else has seen. But that's in the past. And I've let that go. Now, all I want is for Todd to get help, and I hope he can, and I hope I can still pray for him. 